We're with Raging Cajun outfielder Izzy Edwards. What's the difference, uh, biggest difference between Town Ball, Texas, your hometown, and, uh, and Lafayette, Louisiana? Actually, it's kind of the same. The only difference is the food. When I came here, I was surprised. I thought it'd be a big culture shock, but I mean, it's kind of the same back from here and back home. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, how would you grade your your junior season last year? Uh, awful, underachieved, to say the least. Are you always striving for the best? So, like, you would probably you're probably a guy that would never say ten or eight. Like, you're always striving for more. Is that fair to say? Yes, I'm always trying to be better than I am the day before. So whenever I grade myself, it's it's pretty hard. So I really give myself a ten. Um, what aspect of your game did, did you work on the most in the fall? Definitely becoming a, a smarter overall player. Hitter for the most part. I really, really worked on my defense this fall and the summer and summer ball. So overall, just becoming smarter and better hitter and defensive, defensive player. What's your personal goal? I, th there's team goals this year, obviously, but, but you personally, what's the personal goal for your senior season? Uh... Honestly, just to have a good season and go out on a good note. I mean, there's a lot of seniors in this team that may not get the chance to play pro ball. There's a lot of juniors that I built relationships with, and this could be the last time I ever see them. And I want to, their image, my image of going out of here saying, hey, like, we left a good impression on them. Like, we had a good season, good season for them and for the seniors. Like, we had a good season for them, too. So it hadn't begun yet, but it sounds like you're already kind of cherishing those moments as they come, knowing they'll be the last. Do you, do you think about life after college baseball much? And if you do, what comes to mind? Every day. I think about it every day and I get up. That, that's what actually motivates me to practice hard and strive to push people around me and myself every day. Who was your favorite player growing up? Believe it or not, Carl Crawford. Carl's good. I mean, I you know, he was, I mean, he was a, he was a Houston area kid and Growing up, we actually in high school, I had a family friend that knew him personally and hung out with him all the time. And that watched him growing up as this kind of guy, I kind of modeled my game after. You have some Rays gear? No, actually, I didn't. Didn't. Sorry. Right. Carl Crawford uh, is the favorite. Izzy Edwards is our guest. What's uh, fill in the blank for me? Best part about being a raging Cajun is blank. The atmosphere. Hands down, the atmosphere. How much do you think it, it gets elevated, if at all? With the with the new renovated ballpark, we'll, we'll have to wait and see because I couldn't give you a definite answer. I know you guys are jacked about playing in it, though, huh? Oh yeah, we're, we're excited and we're itching for the days you can play here. All right, word association. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. All right, Daniel Freeman, silent assassin, uh, Joe Robbins, different, Brent Conrad, penguin. Steven Sinsley. Big baby. Dylan Moore. Lawyer. Dylan Pacho. Shoes. Jam Williams. Wild. The wild child. You're looking at him right now. Oh, right? yeah. The wild child. Tony Robichaud. Uh, I'd say father figure. Kenan Fontenot. Dad. Hunter Castles. <laughs> Longhorn. Nick Lee. The, uh, probably change up. Handsome Monica. <laughs> Handsome Monica. Different. Raise your Cajun fans. Die hard. Izzy Edwards. Good question. <laughs> good, good question right there. On that note, Izzy, man, best of luck your senior season. We look forward to seeing you out on the field. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.